but still a very calm, cool confidence. Swinging shot with the backhand receive. Plays it very softly. And even still, this time, a similar coolness about her as she comes in for a long push, just changing up the game. Nushawin takes this ball right off the bounce with some side spin to keep it in. Swinging Shaw has been very effective at creating that wide opening angle with the forehand. Again, against Nushawin, it's going to be a different task. Beautiful parallel shot, surprise factor from Swinging Shaw to tie it up. Look at this, short stroke from the middle of the body with the forehand right back into Lucia Wynn on the short side. And it's played to the forehand side, but Sun Ying Sha so fast, pegs her opponent in the body. And the fast long serve with the follow up shot deep to the backhand corner, Lucia Wynn with a solid fast combination. Many people proposing to lose one. She has so many choices. When you're making that poster, you probably only want to print one. Oh. It's like, Lucia one, marry me and 40 of my friends. There's the angle, but it's well anticipated as Lucia one gets the racket up and out to block it back for the angle. from over the table. These slow motion shots are just incredible. <laughs> Lucia Wynn testing. Again, bringing a player into the forehand side and then sending him back deep to the backhand corner really tests the footwork and the core strength and the agility of the opponent. Oh, surprise flip, but if she's coming down, Lucia Wynn not so surprised. I was surprised watching it. Watch Lucia Wynn so quick. Doesn't move until the point of contact. The reaction time at its finest. Pretty much everything related to table tennis at its finest. Quick short stroke off the bounce. Placed in at the hand. What an answer. Every time Sun Ying Sha for the last half of this game, or at least the last maybe four or five points, has played a wide angle. Liu Xiuwen has brought it back even faster. And this is a risk you take running a wide angle, is that it opens up a wide angle counter. It's natural to have to move to cover that wide angle. Ask the opponent to play to the short side, play behind you. And she does. Invitation accepted. Lucia Wynn counters once or twice out to the forehand. That's the second one. And then here to the middle of the table. Asking Sun Ying Sha to either try and turn and take a forehand, which takes more time, or play a solid backhand, which is more difficult. It's more difficult to generate power. Little fun fact, just a reminder, Sun Ying Sha two points away from losing her first game this tournament in the main draw. Edge of the table, but it's the down the line shot, a bold play from Sun Ying Sha. Love the after motion on the racket from Sun Ying Sha on the serve.
37. Oh, this one does not come down. Very difficult receive from the back of the table to play defensively. A little hesitation. Perfect length from Lucia One earns her three game points. Quick opening backhand saves a game point. Now swinging Shaw with two serves. Watch the after motion on her serve. Much like being subtle at the point of contact and not following through, following through with a different direction. Very patient play backhand to backhand from Swinging Shaw. Quite different than before. Often patient in the push for the opening rally, she's confident. On that serve, there wasn't much of an after motion, just to stop nearly at the point of contact. Just after. Ooh, soft touch. Sun Ying Sha staying cool. We heard a little oh from her there at the end. Now we saw this a lot from her last week. The deep to the backhand corner, she's able to get the racket head up and around the ball as if she has an even wider wing on the backhand than the forehand side. Which physically, as you can imagine, is not the case, having to reach across the body. Ooh, surprise again. Hops up on one foot and a flip kill. What pace, three points, no four in a row for Sun Ying Sha. She was down 7-10. This is the contact there on the counter. I don't think I'm the only one who feels like I'm out there playing when I'm watching. Shaking my head for a minute as if I were Sun Ying Sha, like, it's okay. She won much the same. Nine, 11, oh. Beautiful forehand from over the table. Just amazing that she can read when she can get such a full stroke at the ball. We've seen that she has the power in the flip kill game and also with the full stroke. Second game point for Sun Ying Sha. And from down 7-10, the 16-year-old takes the first game against Lu Xu in world number two. 13-11 to win game one. We'll be back for game two right after this. Fine balance, swinging shot, calm and cool, but also fired up a bit and emotional. Very comfortable with herself and expressive. Heavy spin shot played right to the middle. Lucia one frozen up a little bit. Quick off the bounce with the backhand and well in position. She's very good at using the opponent's spin and finding her placement. Watch this. Quick shot from Lucia One. Relatively deep to the backhand side. Gets Lucia One to turn the corner. Nice change of pace, Sun Ying Sha. Again, her agility, not only in her flexibility physically, her physical agility, but I would say the versatility in her game, her rhythm. Makes her so comfortable out there and uncomfortable for the opponent. Look at this. Not even close to in reach. Lucia One just stands and turns. Forehand, no chance. She starts to move. It's almost like the table didn't appear to be that wide. Swinging Shaw sees parts of the table that others can't. Tries to do the same thing on the other side. Nine feet by five feet for Sun Ying Sha. They're more like nine by seven. You can 
tell that there was a missed contact there. The ball slips off the forehand rubber. It's a soft, spinny one. Two points in a row that have not been contacted just right by Sun Ying Sha. This is the third ball. She's found wide spots on the table in the past, but she's got the time. The ball comes off the table. But again, a lot of pressure with Lucia in there for the counter. Second bounce on the table, service placement as Lucia one steps into the lead. The flip is back, but the wide shots have not landed in some time. Just the first two fans covering their faces. Catches the edge. Swinging Shaw's point. It's funny, she's been overdoing the wide shots for some time. The start of this game played him very well. In the last three attempts, had lost wide. Finally, just enough to catch some of the top of the table. What a creative shot from over the table. Comes around the side of the ball for the push to leave it short on the forehand of Lu Shawun. And that was her collecting the fruits of her labor. Crawling up the arm, ski ball style, on the left arm of Lu Shawun. Again, so fluid, swinging Shaw, moving around and moving the ball as well. She's in the air when she hits this backhand. With Fang Zhendong, we talk about how big the sweet spot is on the backhand side. With swinging Shaw, the fact that she doesn't even have to be planted when she makes the shot. The future of table tennis. A little bit of side spin there from Lu Xuan makes the ball bend out wider to the forehand. You get a ball that high, even though Lu Xuan's wingspan isn't that wide, right into the body, off in the way to go. You have to be pretty confident that it's out of reach otherwise. Serve right at the back edge of the table. It's two game points for Sun Ying Sha. Third towel break of the game. It's Sun Ying Sha on the receive. We've seen forehand flips. We've seen comfortable pushes. Throughout the tournament, we've seen Chiquita's, the banana flip receive. And the heavy top spin to the middle of the table. Sun Ying Sha with a 2 0 lead, 11 8 over Liu Shawan. We'll be back for game three coming up right after this. Stay right here. Back for game number three, Lu Xuan trailing. Again, she is the number two seed here. And interestingly enough, Sun Ying Sha, the 44th seed, 
but it just goes to show you how important participation is on the world tour with the new ranking system coming into play in 2018 we'll see a lot more participation from many players back edge of the table for Lu Xuan Sun Yingxia not happy about the timing of that serve. It was a long serve deep on the table, but Lu Xuan didn't seem fooled at all. Wasn't moving into the table. The body language of Sun Yingxia, her technique on that forehand is a bit different than any of her teammates. Really has a long stroke, gets the whole body from the legs into it. It's less of an efficient thing, but a quick recovery to sort of cover up for that full stroke. Not gonna come down. There was the hooking forehand. It's been some time, I don't know if I can recall seeing Sun Ying Sha getting into a lobbing point. I think in Japan it must have happened. Wow, the reach and the recovery. This is some anticipation from the 16-year-old. Thunder sticks to block the face. So Sun Ying Sha still has not dropped a game in the main draw of this tournament. We'll see if I can get access to the qualification rounds as well, where it seems more likely that her dominance would really show. Backhand to backhand. A spin that is unfamiliar. Patiently waiting at the middle of the table, Sun Ying Sha steps back into the lead. Wow, the wide angle ball is coming right back. Liu Xuan working so hard. Again, swinging shot. Look how deep that goes to the backhand corner. For swinging shot to reach it, but to play the ball back so wide, so fast. It's the absolute diagonal length of the table. There's that full forehand stroke again. So much racket speed. The spin that she generates. Just amazing. I've seen Lucia Wynn play a lot of table tennis. It's very rare to see her overpowered in the spin game. And a surprise, a parallel shot into the body. It's at least four in a row for Sun Ying Sha. Well now, two points away from a three to zero lead. Backhand to backhand, swinging Shaw now with five game. Back for game number four, swinging Shaw again, the rising star just breaking out into the spotlight last week in Japan, still has not dropped a game. Not a game. 
to Lu Xuan, to Feng Tianwei, Lu Xuan's greatest rival from overseas, Wai Mian. And now the wide angle out to the forehand side. Outsider or insider, swinging Sha cool and in control. The body language of both players, swinging Sha, you feel like you could just talk to right now and be like, hey, just a quick question, what time is it? Lucia won, it's a little bit different. Face tracker there on the camera. Very spinny deep on the table. It sits up a little bit, but the ball's loaded. Lucia went overcompensating and closing. A little bit of side on it, too. You could see the bounce. It, jump, it jumps out to the forehand side. Facial expression there from Sun Ying Sha, the little shake, Beethoven style. Timing, short rally, deep push to the backhand side. the match is still going on and Lucia Wen could come back. We've seen it before, but your mind starts to wander ahead to Ding Ning versus Sun Ying Sha. The ultimate test, world number one. Had some conversations with, French, uh, with friends about Sun Ying Sha and if she had to face Ding Ning versus Lucia Wen and they said they think her odds are better against Lucia Wen. Beautiful down the line shot again, short side. Ding Ning has a lot of tricks up her sleeve from service to off the table play. But I think anyone who plays Sun Ying Sha and backs off the table is gonna find themselves in hot water. Sichuan province hot pot style. Second towel break of the game, and we haven't seen too much pressure since game one for Sun Ying Sha. Two points in a row for Liu Xia Wen. Let's see if we start to see any pressure settle in. Remember, no coaches in the corners for either of these players as they're both from China for the Chinese national team. And a back edge from Liu Xia Wen. Touch leaves it right at the back of the table. Now, Sun Ying Sha, we've seen make forehands from over the table, but this one she feels like is probably coming long. It stays in just a little bit shallow, and it's enough to deter the attack. Tied up seven points each. Clever play, Lushuan playing it back to the forehand. And the forehand flip, you would think. Sun Ying Sha was expecting that, the more likely shot. But again, sometimes overthinking it. I mean, Liu Xiuan is clever. Wouldn't put it past her to play the short side, change it up down the line. 
or even into the body. Swinging Shaw recovering the lead. This game is not only to win the match, but to be undefeated, not drop a single game in the main draw. Unusual situation, I would say. The ball comes back deep to the middle of the table. And she waits for a moment, decides to step in and play the backhand rather than turn and open up the forehand side of the court. Point to Lo Shuan. Two big points, and now it's two game points for Lu Shuan to take the first game that we've seen off of Sun Ying Xia. air under pressure. Still has one more to go. The importance of a tight serve. From the middle of the table, no problem. Sun Ying Xia with the response right into the backhand and the step around forehand to finish at the wide angle. Turns from the middle, gets both feet in the air. Rapid racket speed. It's like it contacts the hand there on the miscontact. Deuce in game four, swinging shot a serve. And the forehand once again earns match points. Two game points saved. There were three in game one. And it's three points in a row for swinging shot. Not a single game dropped. Unbelievable through Lu Xuan, and there's only one test left. Ding Ning, the two-time standing world champion, the Olympic gold medalist of 2016, is waiting on the other side of the bracket, just waiting for a chance to prove herself and hold down the 16-year-old that is broken free of the chains of all the world ranks above her. What a way to finish, so calm and cool, and a clinched fist as 16-year-old Sun Ying Sha goes undefeated two weeks in a row from Japan all the way back through China to find herself in the women's singles final. What a day it has been and what a performance from Sun Ying Sha. Stick around, we've got two semifinals coming up for the men. It's Dimitri.